We're gonna move in here and uh, talk to Barry Schultz. Barry's got a, a, a new item with him today. Let's see what's going on here. Barry, how you doing? I'm doing right, man. What's this thing, man? Well, it's a uh, gotta go kart. Got a go kart, huh? And, uh, the guys from Minneapolis that gotta go gotta throw came up with a nice go kart here. Um, give me an idea, of maybe what's your favorite feature of the thing? Uh, my favorite feature is probably the chair. You know, I'm always sitting on, on a chair, you know, waiting in between holes on a T-pad and stuff. But uh, you know, it's better than the other chair because it's got a back to it. I mean, so I can lean back, really take a load off. Really, the upper body really relaxes. I feel comfortable. And usually, you got a tripod chair, and you're like this whole time. You're scrunched over and stuff. You're not moving back. On. This is just this is beautiful. Well, how do you get? I mean, it looks like it's really a pain to get to my disc. I got to pull my bag out each time. Well, you know, because my first day, I don't, I didn't have bungee cords or nothing to, to put it in there. I was just using my double strap, my right? Double strap. So you just lift up oh. the seat. You know, when your bag is in here, real nice. You get all your stuff in, minis. You know, everything you need. You zipper on both sides for the bag. Turn around. I like that. I like the big wheels. And we got uh, pouches in here for stuff, for towels. Dicker got a gold, got a throw towel in there. You know, whatever you need. All right. That's, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using it the rest of the year. I mean, it's been really good. I'm liking it. Got to go, got to throw. Well, that's Barry Schultz with his new got to go cart. So, Barry, good luck, man. Thanks, we looking for you pulling that thing around. We're here for got to go, got to throw. This is their new go kart. We got Dave Felberg, and Dave, you're out testing this cart this week. Uh, you you don't usually have a cart. You had a caddy, I believe, every round last year. What's the deal with the cart here? You well, I had a caddy. I, I had a caddy pre-planned before I knew I was going to get the cart. So I had a caddy all weekend, but I used it in practice. Tried it out. Uh, I say there's got some good things about it. It's got this. Uh, you check it out. It's got this beautiful. I like chair. the seat for starters. The chair's real nice. And then the thing about it is you can lift it up and get into your bag, which is a real nice feature, I think. And the way the wheels are set up, it's not a golf cart, so it doesn't have the bag boy thing where it's kind of tipsy-topsy. It's real close to the ground, so it makes it for going up and down hills real nice. Overall, I think it's a good product, but uh, the round's over and I got people to see, so I got to go and I got to throw. This is Gotta Go, Gotta Throw, Go-Kart Talk with Barry Schultz. Barry, how you doing today, man? Just getting ready to uh, start the day out here at Rennie Gold. Well, this is, uh, this is a tough place, man, and uh, you've had this car. How long have you had the cart now? Uh, I started in late March. The uh, Atlanta National Tour was my first event on it, and uh, I've been in love with it ever since. Uh, it saves wear and tear in my body. It saves, uh, you know, you may think a cart might be ex expensive, but in fact, you know, you can save some money because you don't have to buy a chair. You don't have to buy the ultra high-end bag. You can go with a very simple bag and put it in there. Uh, you, you don't have to uh, um, buy a lot of those extra things that you might need on the, on the golf course because you already have mine right here. Well, I know you've been using it all year long. It looks good. It looks like you've got it set up, man. You got your caddy book, got your umbrella, everything in there. Yeah. What about here, man? I mean, this is Renaissance. This place is is up. It's down. There's bridges. There's. Well, I think I'm going to take advantage of the cart, and I'm going to challenge the cart here today. Uh, taking advantage of it, you know, I'm going to want to sit down a lot. It's going to be long. might be as much as four-hour round out there. You know, we got, like I said, a par 70. It's going to be a challenge, so I'll be able to sit back and relax a little bit uh, without having to carry something in my other hand, like another chair. Um, a couple extra discs I'm taking advantage of. You know, don't want to be without something out there, so I got a couple extra discs, got a little bit extra food. I got some extra clothes in there just in case I get a little cold. If, the, you know, the cloud comes out, I got the umbrella in just case it's a long, tough round. You know, don't want to be uh, without anything. As far as challenging the cart goes, you know, a couple of national tours we've been on, like in uh, uh, Tulsa area, well, that was kind of some nasty land along these lines, really hilly, not really cart friendly, so to speak. Uh, but. Uh, I haven't had a problem at any courses I've been to this year, so this is going to be a good test. Like anybody else has been to this course, they know this is hard enough to walk. We'll see how hard it is for me to take the cart, but as long as I take my time and pay attention, don't just chit chat and walk as fast as I possibly can, I think I'm going to have a great time out there and I won't have any issues. Well, check with me after the round and we'll find out. Good deal. We'll check back with Barry after the round. We'll see how the cart did. Good luck today, man. Thanks. Well, now here comes Barry Schultz after the round. We're going to try to catch up with him. Barry, Whew, that was a tough round, man. We want to see uh, exactly how the go-kart went, man. Uh, how'd it go out there, first off? Well, it went pretty good. Uh, we, uh, we shot a 55, which is a solid round. We thought that might 